How's it going everyone? Grim here and today I want to do a tips and tricks video on magnetizing the heavy intercessors. Now these are the big boy cousins of the standard Adeptus Astartes Space Marine Primaris intercessors which is the standard troops choice for Warhammer 40k. Uh, those usually come in a box of 10 but for the heavy intercessors which are these here they come in a box of five for approximately the same price which is around sixty dollars US so what makes these different from the intercessors and why do you want to magnetize these well first of all like I said these are the big boy cousins these particular models are let me try and there you go these particular models are bigger chunkier and overall tougher than the intercessors they come on a 40 millimeter base as opposed to the intercessors they come on a 32 millimeter base and as you can see their armor is much more chunky but like the intercessors the heavy intercessors have multiple weapon options in ninth edition and so you might want to consider magnetizing to swap out those particular weapon options so let me just go ahead and give you the rundown of the basic data sheet of the heavy intercessor squad you know right now in ninth edition there are 23 points for each model movement 5 weapons skill 3 plus ballistic skill 3 plus strength 4 toughness 5 which is why they're the beefier version of the intercessors which are toughness 4 wounds 3 unlike the intercessors which are wounds 2 uh, standard 2 attacks leadership 7 and a 3 plus save so both the intercessors and the heavy intercessors like I said, have multiple weapon options. You have the standard uh, bolt rifle, but for these heavy intercessors, they're the heavy bolt rifle. And then you have an option called the Hellstorm bolt rifle. And then you have another option called the Executor bolt rifle. So some people say Executor, some people say Executor, you know, uh, depends on, I guess, which side of the pond you're on. But the way it's spelt, it's spelt like executor. But anyway, the whole gist is that it's the executor bolt rifle. And of course, one of these particular models in a squad of five can be upgraded with either a heavy bolt rifle, a heavy hellstorm bolter, or a heavy executor bolter. Uh, and they have all different types of uh, weapons types in terms of rapid fire, assault, heavy, with uh, most of them being strength 5, or pretty much all of them being strength 5, unlike the regular intercessors, which their bolt rifles are strength 4. You know, so these are these are much more beefier, but they're also much more costly, right? 23 points. Right now, the intercessors are 17 points, I believe. 17 or 18 points, but these are 23 for each model. So, if you want to go between the different loadouts, right? You have the three different loadouts, like I said. You have the standard bolt rifle, which is uh, this right here. And the model only comes with one actual rifle per model. But the way you swap out or the way you choose which of those three different weapon options is this little part here, this little central part here, which is basically the bolt receiver and magazine of the weapon and that's the only difference and depending on which particular loadout you want that's what you would uh, build or glue into right now this is the standard heavy bolter option and then you have here right the um, hellstorm which is kind of like a drum magazine and then you have here the executor which is kind of like a I don't know what it is. It's it's kind of like a obloidal drum magazine, but it's got the distinctive skull and crossbones, right? So, 
If you don't want to build this model with one particular loadout, because you want to be able to change as the game changes, as the rules change, right? You're going to have to figure out how to swap these out. And the only way to do it uh, effectively is magnetization because they're not tight enough where it's a snug fit where you could easily just, you know, press fit each of these magazines into the rifle and expect it to stay in there throughout the entire game. It's going to fall out. Uh, you know, you pick this thing up, you put it down. The little thing is going to fall out if you don't glue it in or you can magnetize it. Right. And so what we do is put a little magnet there. You can see that, right? So you're going to have to drill into that little plastic crossbar that sits right there in the magazine. And you're going to have to put, I put here a two millimeter by one millimeter magazine, uh, magnet, two millimeter by one millimeter magnet that you drill and put into there. Okay. And that way it can seat. It doesn't seat perfectly. It's not very pretty. All right. In terms of perfectly seating in there, but for gameplay, it serves its purpose, right? Because some of you may be looking at this and going, wow, two millimeter by one millimeter, that is a tiny magnet. And you are right, that is a very tiny magnet. So why in the world would you want to put yourself through that pain and suffering? And I'll tell you right now, it is, it is kind of hard to magnetize each of these bolt assembly slash magazines just so you can say you have the different weapon loadouts. Well, some people like punishing themselves and that's why you do it other people like to have WYSIWYG what you see is what you get when you're playing on the you know on the battlefield and then sometimes depending on the tournament that you might be in you know they may require it uh, I think that most people when you if you were to build this with just one particular weapon loadout and then just say with each game oh this one is the hellstorm oh this one is the executor or oh, this one is the standard bolt rifle i don't think anybody would really care right i mean from across the table yeah you can tell the difference that this is a big drum versus this one which is a standard magazine type th uh, thing but i mean i don't think anybody's really going to care unless you're being a real stickler and sometimes depending on if you're doing tournament play they can be real sticklers so they want WYSIWYG, right so you're going to have to swap these out now if you're the type of builder that likes to have it perfect and likes to make sure all the mold lines are removed and everything is glued and assembled perfectly and painted perfectly, then you're probably not going to want to do this. You probably don't magnetize at all if you're that type of, of model maker because you don't need to magnetize. You make a different model for each weapon loadout probably, right? Because you want to paint it perfectly. You want it to look perfectly but if you're a standard player who wants to be able to not have to buy three kits for just one f squad, but instead you want to be able to hot swap out the, uh, the magazines to reflect the different weapon loadouts, then you're going to have to magnetize. All right, so two millimeter by one millimeter magnet drilled out on both sides. And you got to be very careful when you drill these out. As you can see, let me, oh, oh sorry, let me kind of show you here. That magnet did not seat perfectly in the center of that plastic crossbar. All right, this one, much better, much more centered this one right more centered than this one but they all work and you're not going to see it right when you put the magazine in to the rifle no one's going to see how centered that magnet is they're just going to see the weapon load out here right and depending on your primer this is a army painter army green primer and so that primer may help it have more of a snug fit but without the magnet 
it is guaranteed that this little bad boy is going to fall off in the middle of gameplay. So you got to have these magnets. It's very important that you have these magnetizations. And here it looks with the uh, Executor magazine there, right, with the skull and crossbones. And of course, when you paint this up, you're going to paint that skull and crossbones a different color from the base color of the magazine. So it definitely pops. And so you can tell, oh yeah, that's the Executor one with the skull and crossbones. All right, so that's my video on today's uh, tips and tricks for magnetizing the different weapon loadouts of the Heavy Intercessor. And this will work with the standard Primaris Intercessor squad as well because their rifles and the magazine bolt receiver loadouts are, are, are the same thing where it's one rifle and uh, the difference is these little magazine bolt assemblies that pop right into it. So you're going to do the same type of magnetization if you want to do that with the Intercessor Squad as opposed to the Heavy Intercessor Squad. Thank you all very much for watching this video. If you happen to uh, enjoy this video and the topic, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have a better way of displaying and hot swapping the different weapon loadouts for these Space Marines, uh, other than the magnets, or maybe you find that uh, one millimeter by two millimeter uh, is not good and you have a different opinion or option, by all means, leave a comment, right? As more people comment, then we all learn more about our wonderful hobby. Otherwise, again, thank you for watching this video. And until next time, Grim out.